everybody, and uh, it is Pixel back for some more Biltmore Winter Cuisine. And we're going to be making beef bourguignon, which I know I'm mispronouncing because I don't know French very well and I never will. And we're going to be making winter butter braised car um, cabbage. Well, yeah, not carrots, cabbage to go with it. First, we're going to start on the beef dish, though. And for that, we are going to need... Olive oil, mushrooms, pearl onions, shallots, beef spices, all-purpose flour, red wine, thyme. Going to need some bay leaves, garlic, black pepper, beef broth, and, well, of course, beef. So, you know the drill. Let's get going. Okay, our beef is cut up into roughly about one-inch chunks. We have all of our two shallots cut up. Have our thyme and our pepper over here already poured, and we have our box of red wine. We're going to be putting all that in the bag, and I'll show it to you before we put it in the fridge, but it's going to marinate overnight. Like, not the whole 24 hours, but like 10 or 12. Yeah. <laughs> all right, give me a minute. Okay, we've got everything in our bag except for our wine. I'll pour that in right now. And like I said, we're going to be letting this marinate probably about 12 hours. And I will make a note again about this, but we are not going to be throwing out our marinade. We're going to need it for the finished product. But for now, we're going to mix this up a lot better, put it in the fridge. Well, our beef has marinated overnight, and it's an interesting color. But right now we need to separate the beef from the rest of the marinade. Because we're going to need the vegetables and the rest of the marinade here in a little bit in our recipe. So... Let me do that fast and I'll be right back. Okay, it's gonna be loud, but we gotta pour our beef in and make sure it browns on all sides. Now in the meantime of that browning up, we've separated most of the onions and shallots and garlic from the marinade. So we're gonna need both of those still. And once our beef is all browned up, we're gonna be putting our shallots and garlic. And we are gonna be putting our pearl onions into this brown up for a little while. All right, when the veggies have cooked up a little, we're adding in our flour, and we're going to mix that up just for a minute to get it all incorporated together. All right, once that is a nice, thick enough little concoction, we are going to be adding in our marinade that we saved, letting that simmer down a little into a nice, thick broth before we add in our beef and our mushroom again. Right, when our marinade is almost more of a thin sauce than a liquid again, we're going to add back in our beef. And we're going to be putting in our mushrooms. Now we're going to stir that all up and give it a little while to bake into each other. And I'll be right back. All right, when the stew is starting to get a little thicker sauce-wise, we are going to be putting in our beef broth and onion mix that we put with it. There we go. And last but not least, I put in our four bay leaves. And we're going to let that simmer in there for about an hour. And for the cabbage part of our recipe, we're going to be doing a very simple recipe with cabbage, salt, pepper, sprinkle of onions, butter, and thyme. Well, let's get going on that while our stew is still cooking. First off, we are going to be getting our butter and oil melting together in our pan while we cut up our cabbage. Okay, we're going to be cutting our cabbage. Um, we cut it in half because here's the half we haven't touched yet. And then where the stem is, we've just been cutting it down the front into thin little slivers. And we're going to be collecting these in a bowl and putting them in our pan in a moment. But with our butter melted, we're going to give the pan a little sprinkle of onions and get that started. There we go. Okay, we've only ended up using about half of our cabbage, and I think we have plenty for the recipe. 
Thankfully, we still have the other half if I actually think differently when I go to add it. But for now, I think we're okay. Alright, we're gonna be mixing up those caramelizing onions a little bit. Seem to be right around the right consistency. Better add our cap. With that, we're gonna add a little bit of thyme, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of salt. All right, I'm gonna cover that up. Might need a little tiny bit more butter, but really, that's all it needs. All right, let's give that about 15 minutes. And about 15 minutes later, this is our beautiful brown cabbage. If it needs a couple more minutes to get tender enough to eat, well, you can give it that. Just turn down the heat a little, let it sit there while you're fixing the rest of the food if you need to, and you're good. And you're good. Well, we are all done taping and we all done cooking. Best part's here, well, now we gotta try it. Mm. The beef in that is so tender. Like melt in your mouth, amazing. The flavor the wine left behind is awesome too. Try some of our little cabbages. That cooked up nicely also. They both have a lot of flavor and a nice hot dish for when it's cold out or rainy. I would definitely suggest this for winter at some point. Well, I guess that's it until spring comes around. We'll be doing our last video for the Biltmore Cuisine. But, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, and I'm going to go finish this nice food. I will see you later. Mm -hmm.